In this problem, we're given a cylindrical tank of radius 10 feet, and it's being filled with water at a rate of 1,500 cubic feet per minute. The question asks, how fast is the depth of the water increasing? Well, why don't we start off by drawing the cylindrical tank. Notice that we're not told how tall this tank is, but it really doesn't matter, as we'll see in a second here. The tank is being filled with water, so water is entering the top of the tank here. Why don't we try to indicate the water level like this? And the depth of the water would be this quantity right here, this height. So h is, let's write h is the depth of the water. And we're told that the radius of the tank is 10. So from here to here is 10. Now, even though we don't know how tall this tank is, um, it's not going to affect anything because really all we care about is the water that's at the bottom of the tank. And the water that's sitting at the bottom of the tank, it forms the shape of a cylinder as well. So we're really focusing now on the volume of the water at the bottom of the tank. The volume of a cylinder, as we know, is V equals pi r squared h. And since the radius is 10, why don't we just replace r by 10 right away? And 10 squared is 100, so we can write this as 100 pi h. Okay. Now let's write our given information and what we're looking for, what we want. We're given that the water is being uh, poured into the tank at this rate here, 1,500 cubic feet per minute. So that means the volume of the water is changing it at the rate of 1,500. What are we looking for? How fast is the depth of the water increasing? So let's write dH dt. H is the depth or the height of the water in the tank. And we're, we're, this is what we want, right? That's, our, that's the goal of this problem. So let's start off just by implicitly differentiating our main equation down here with respect to time. I'll just quickly recopy it. So dv dt, the derivative of v with respect to time is dv dt. 100 pi is just a constant, so I'll just pull that out front. And the derivative of h with respect to time is just dh dt. Now we know that uh, dv dt is a constant. It's always equal to 1500. So why don't we replace that right here? We'll keep this side the same. And now we're really there. We're looking for dh dt, and dh dt is simply 1500 divided by 100 pi. So let's write that. And I guess we could simplify this. Uh, this would be the same. Uh, these zeros cancel off, and we get 15 over pi. And what's the units on that? Well, this is a change in height, and so it's going to be meters per... Sorry, not meters, it's feet. Feet per unit of time, in this case, is minute. That's our exact answer. And if we change it to a decimal, we get 4.8. That would be our approximate answer. So as time goes by, the height of the water is growing at a rate of 4.8 feet every minute.